how are you all doing today? Um, lovely to see you and thank you for stopping by to spend some more time with me today to do a little quick project, I hope. Um, I hope that you're having a lovely weekend um, and finding some time for yourself um, and maybe spend some of that crafting. So I'm here to uh, say before I start a very warm welcome to you all. Um, especially if you're new to my channel so I seem to have a lot more subscribers lately so I just want to say a very warm welcome and hello um, and to all of you of course who have been with me through thick and thin uh, <laughs> a very warm welcome to you guys too lovely to see you back here again right so today I'm going to be doing a little envelope um, again and this one is not my normal pretty pinks um i've been using a fabulous um some well two fabulous kits from ruby and pearl on etsy so heather has put together the most lovely kits i'm in love with them and i've used them in the last video as well so the kits that i um, are going to use of hers are the blue garden which is stunning if you haven't seen it or have it already and the other one is called the Fleur Collection I think so those are the ones I've been using and I'm doing a bigger project with it um, and this is just one of the components that are going in there so let's have a look at what I've made so it is an envelope in fact it's three envelopes um, and this will go into the bigger project which I hope to share with you next week so um, fingers crossed on that so I love the butterflies on here. Aren't those just beautiful? Really pretty. Now, this is the front of, of the little um, project today. So I've just put on a couple of my die cuts. This is one of the little elements from the kit. And these are also from her. These are from the Blue Garden kit, I think. Um, if This might be the Fleur one. I'm not quite sure. But look in the box above and I'll tell you exactly what's from where. Um, and of course, the description boxes um, for this video, you will see the links for the kits um, if you're interested. All right. So on the front, I've got these two little pockets that um, start that go like that. And then I've just got a little beautiful card of some gorgeous pansies that I have just backed onto card and put in there like that. And then on this one here. Um, another little one with some flowers all again i'm not even going to keep saying from the kit but it is all from the kit so um really pretty the kits are, a lot, are mostly blues and greens and sort of neutrals so that's really lovely okay so that's the front so those flip over like that um that side we've got some more paper from there and then on this side We've got a little tuck spot here and we've got three elements. I just backed that onto tea stain paper. So we've got a little bit of a um, postcard or letter type front there. And then two other little elements that go into that there. So I've just sort of layered that up. And this is a beautiful page. Love that. And those just slide into there like that. Um, and on the back here... Um, I've also made a little tuck spot, just put some little bits of layers there. Um, life is good, and that's from my own piece. I've made a little envelope here um, out of vellum from one of the pages. And then this is just another piece of ephemera from the kit, and that's just one of the pages as well from one of the other kits of hers. So those just go in over here. Let's put it with a butterfly sticking out. So that just slides into the pocket like that. And that one was peeking through. All right, so if you have a look, let me show you the back first. So here's another pocket. This is a vellum pocket. That's one of the pages. Um, I've just laid this up onto wallpaper with some die cuts um, and made a little eyelet over there. So that's what that is. Um, and on this side, I've made a little belly band um, onto one of the pages that I've laid and stitched around and then two beautiful pieces from that kit as well. So those just slide into the back over here like that. Just get those um, in there. 
<laughs> Nothing works when you want to film. Isn't that just the case, yeah? Right, so um, those go into the back there. So if you have a look at it, we from the top, let's see, you can see what, what I've got here. It's just a bit of a trifold, really. Nothing unique, um, really, except for maybe these bits on the front here. And I'll show you how I did that. It wasn't difficult. Um, and then that's going to slide into another pocket into my project. And that's what you'll see from the front. All right, so let's get on with making this. Um, I really like how this has turned out. So this is my exciting envelope number 29. <laughs> I had to think about that. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did that. So let's leave that there. The first thing you're going to need is three envelopes. I've got three envelopes the same size. doesn't really matter on the size, but I will give you the size that I've used. And then as long as they are the same size, you're all right. So you can use old envelopes, um, meaning mailers or anything you want. Um, this is what I've used. So we're looking at six and a half inches by four and a half. Or if you're working in millimeters, it's 162 by 115. So that's the size. Those are the size. Of, that's the size. Sorry that I'm using. OK, so three of those, as I said. And then what you want to do is you've got to start putting these together so um pretty easy very pretty basic open up the flaps like that it doesn't matter if you have the ones that have the pointed flap that isn't going to be a problem so what we want to do is we just want to get those two together first of all um, and then just make sure that when you close them that they line up before you glue them. So I just want to grab that there like that. Make sure they're straight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off that and I'm going to just use my glue and stick that down. Yeah, I'm using a non-stainless steel pin here. So I've got a little bit of discoloration in the beginning with my art glitter glue, but that's to be expected because I don't know, I broke the other one, the other pin, the head, the, the head of the pin came off. Okay, so we've stuck those two down like that. So that's fabulous. Um, so now we've just got those two like that, which is great. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take this last one here and before you stick this down, you're going to do something with this. So um, what I did here was I took my ruler and found the middle point first of all. So the way I did that was just through uh, via my board here. So it's just a case of going like this here, but just find the middle point. Um, and draw a line down the middle of your envelope and just before you do that just make sure that it is straight on your board or wherever you're measuring so I'm just going to use this line over here like that and then just move that over so it's even so that's pretty much the mark and then it's easy to find the middle point here and I'm going to just draw a line down the middle there like that. And then what I did was I just took an eighth of an inch or um, like half, a, not even half a centimetre. Um, we're looking at like three mil and just draw a little line either side of that centre line on both sides. Um, like that now what I did was and I have prepared already done this so I'm not gonna have to get back to you in a second what I did was if you've got a sewing machine this is where I stitched along the outer line there took a stitch over and stitched down the bottom there made a double stitch there and a double stitch there all right so you're gonna stitch along that line turn over there and come down there and make double stitches because what we're going to do is we're going to split this eventually so that's what you need to do now before you stitch that the other thing you need to do 
for whether you're stitching or not is take an inch or a ruler width which is an inch off the end of this envelope here so i'm just going to turn it around it'll be easier because this is slightly smaller than the other um, envelope slightly shorter so just so that the tags are able to fit on okay so i've taken that you can use your um, scissors all right, so now you're ready to stitch. If you're going to stitch, then you can go and do that. But if you are not going to stitch, then what you would need to do is you'd need to slip that over there. So let's do that quickly. So this is what you're going to do if you're gluing. You're just going to slip that down the middle there like that. Um, and you're going to glue um, each little piece like this okay now i'm making a fairly thick piece here because we will be trimming this ever so slightly again once the paper is stuck on the top so um that is the case there so the glue line is not too skinny it's a broadish glue line like that Okay, and then um, when the other paper is on, we will re-trim that. Okay, so that's what you're going to do if you're gluing. But if you are going to be sewing, then I'll just put that one to the side over there. What you're going to be doing if you're sewing, let's just take this all out of the way, is the following. So you can see before you cut anything i've just stitched down the one side made a stitch over and stitched on down the other side there and i'm not going to cut this at the moment i'm only going to cut it once i put the paper right, so we're going to stick this bit down so this bit isn't going to be this way it needs to be that way so you're going to make a z shape by sticking that on over there like that so that you've got a piece like that okay so let's just put that, get that like that, just check over here, put that on there, this on here, and we can just stick that down. Now I've stuck it on the wrong end, that's why it's looking like that. Okay, oops. Okay, so there we go, that's stuck in place. So now that lies nice and flat as it is. Okay, so now when you look at it, you've got a Z sort of shape upside down like that. And we're ready to go. Right, after all my faffing around. Okie dokie. Right, so let's get going and, and work on the front now. So we're going to stick the paper over here before we cut this. Um, and what I've got here is just your little butterfly um, bit. And I'm going to just quickly put this on. All right, so I've done that, and we're going to stick that straight down like that onto that envelope piece right over here. So let's do that quickly. Oh, I've got the children, uh, well, the students, the teenagers back in classes this week. Um, it's their induction week, so not too heavy going, except there will be a lot of marking involved. Um, so we do need to spend hours of marking this week before the actual lessons next week. So fingers crossed all goes well. So my daughter goes back as well to college and she's excited. So that's good. All right. So yeah, back at the grindstone as we are. Right, now what I've got is I've got a, one of these pieces of paper, which is um, one of the collage sheets there, really pretty, and I'm going to stick that on this side, um, 
quickly. Yeah, my poor dog. Although, um, we'll have to take her for extra, my poor Abby, she'll have to have extra walks and um, love when I come home this week. <laughs> Little sausage. Right, she's so cute. Okay, we want to stick that down here. So, yeah, everything back to normal routines now. Okay, so we've got that done. So that's fabulous. And I'm not stitching on anything here. But what we are going to do is, if you have a look, you can see the stitch line coming through over there. Now, what I'm going to do is, and I'm just having a little peek so that I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so we've got that just over there. So what I did with mine was I took my ruler and I took my craft knife and I can see the, the actual mark there. So I'm just lining it up and the moment of truth, I'm going to slit it in between those two stitch lines. So let's hope that I have actually got it in the right place. Yeah, so there we go. We've got that one like that. How's that? <laughs> so there we've got our two little tags now and they meet up perfectly. Um, and then what I did was I just took out a little bit more. So that's why we had to do two lines with a little gap because I just wanted it to have an ever so little bit of not catching on each other so I'm just taking a little bit more out of there like that so not much at all and hence the the, the sort of m very tiny amount in between and the gap between the two stitch lines so that's just made it easier to flip past each other now so that's how I did that there okay at this point um, if you have glued it and cut it like this you could now do exactly the same once you've stuck yours on and then uh, just move it and, and cut it because you've put a thick line of glue there um, and that would, um, you can see it's it's fine if you cut up to the line. So you do exactly the same and cut away and then a sliver on either side. Okay, so that's what you're going to do with that one. Okay, so we've got the front bit done, so that's fine. And now what I would do is just take my little um, chomper here, my inch to make a thumb goodie, like that. And then the same in the middle here. Okay. Well, I'm sure it didn't like it, but there we go, I've got it. So that's fine. And then just... If you want to distress those, you can do. So there we go. So those are all sorted. We'll come back to the front bit in a minute. All right, so now let's we, let's um, tackle this bit over here. And then what I did there was, just trying to find the piece of paper. Here it is. So that's the piece of paper I'm going to stick down over there. And then I have got a little edge bit, which is from that collage sheet that I've cut off. Um, and I've just put that onto some very, not thick card, um, that I'm going to put over here and stick that down. And that'll be the little tuck spot. So I just want to give this a little bit of a distressing. So speed this up. And not that side there, so that's all right. So now we're going to just stick this down um, on this piece there like that. So let's do that quickly. Oh, Paigey just bought me um, some lovely uh, Ruffalo chocolates. <gasps> and I'm trying to behave myself with my eating, so I think I'm going to have to either give them away, which I don't want to do because she'll be hard to saw if I do that or I'm going to have to like promise that I can have one a day kind of thing, you know <laughs> I don't know if that's possible but, you know, we'll have to see how it goes 
chocolate is my absolute weakness i am terrible you can keep everything you can keep crisps alcohol everything but when it comes to chocolate i can't control myself i'm just terrible with chocolate um which is is not good but there you have it so what's your weakness ladies which is your what is it that you just cannot stay away from and i don't know why because as a child i wasn't that way but you know what can we do yeah i'm just really bad with chocolate i could it, i could eat it till i'm sick i really could i've never out sort of well i suppose i really didn't have it when i was younger but i as a um when i started working i really made up for it <laughs> so not good at all right there we go okay so we've got our second page done so there's that's great and we'll put all the little bits and pieces in at the end okay so now we want to do this back page which i messed up earlier so sorry but we're going to cover it so i'm not worried um and what we're going to put on there is this piece like this that's going to go on here and then i just took a piece of the collage and i've put some scraps together really um to go on to there at the bottom so i'm going to stick that down there so again we're going to just quickly um, do this on the edges ever so quickly and I think I'm going to just double check this page to see that um, if I fitted it correctly it looks a bit wide no I'm not it's perfect okay what am I saying I was rushing with this today well normally I, I take my no well, I don't take my time but um, I was really pushed for time, let's say, today. So I thought I had got that one wrong. But I haven't. And this is a lovely page. This kit is really lovely. And I, I've thoroughly enjoyed um, playing along with it for these last few weeks. Because, as I said, I'm going to show you the bigger project when I'm done. Alrighty. So we'll stick this one down here over my boo-boo. There we go. No boo boo anymore. All right, so there we go. And then we've got this little one over here, which is just going to be like a little pocket. And as I said, it's just a scrap. So I'm going to just stick this down. And I like this little uh, envelope trifold inserty thing. You'll see the whole picture. As I said, we can stick that down like that and hold that down, and that's pretty done. Um, we'll come back to the decorating. I just want to get all the bit, the main pages on. So we're back to the last two now. Um, so that one is going to look like this. So we've got this piece coming on here, and we've got that piece going on there. So I'm going to quickly speed up, just to stress this a bit. All right, so it's just a case of sticking these two down. Um, and then we can go back and... Uh... Oh, I haven't talked about the weather yet today. What am I like? So, yes, I was reading about some people and their favourite seasons. It was so lovely to hear the various um, feedback on that. So, that's lovely. Thank you. And, um, yeah, we definitely are having cooler uh, weeks here now. So, the days are cooler and the nights are looking longer and darker. So, yeah, it's all changing. And I'm sure it must be getting lighter in the Southern Hemisphere as well. So, yeah, it's all changing, isn't it? So, not so hot or not so cold, usually, wherever you are. And tell me where you guys are from, because I don't know where everybody's from, obviously. But it 
it's lovely to know where you guys are from so don't be afraid to leave that information in the comments um i love getting to know you guys as well and tell me if you're a chocolate addict <laughs> what's your favorite um addiction keep it legal ladies <laughs> right okay so there we go we've got that bit on now gosh i hope i've got it all right yeah i think so and then it's just a case that we want a little belly band over here so what i did was i took another piece of that lovely collage page um, and I use pretty much all of that in the various sections. And I'm going to stick that down just over here. And what I used was um, double-sided tape. So I like to use that for belly bands. It just makes me feel a little bit more... Uh, it just gives me the feeling of uh, security there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I seem to be happier using double-sided tape with this. So what I did was I backed it onto another one of the scraps from that collage page just to give it a little bit more rigidity as well. So we've got that there. And now we are just going to pull this off. Oops, <laughs> wrong side. Oh gosh. There we go. All right, so let's just position that well. Okay, so I think that's about where I want it. Perfect. Okay, and then on this side, I had a little piece of vellum. So I printed out that collage page, and I'll show you a piece of it. You can see it's got, uh, this is the vellum now. Um, and I also used this for um, cutting out an envelope, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So this is another piece of that same collage page, which is so pretty. So here I've cut it out with the, the pansies. So that's going to go over here. So I'm just going to glue that on the three sides ever so quickly. That. Oh, I hope you can't hear that they've got the TV on very loud downstairs. It's tr difficult when you're trying to record things and you've got your family about. Um, I do struggle with that. And usually they're pretty good, but sometimes not. <laughs> right, so um, I think that's everything there. So let's start decorating this now. Um, and what I wanted to do quickly, because it's ticking up a little bit, is I used my bone folder just to um, run it along the spine on each side, just to make sure that it's, it's sitting nice and flat. Look at the difference now. Okay, so we've got this going on here. So what we want to do is we want to just put on the flowers and a little bit of a uh, label if i can find it right so what i did was there's just this tiny little um, picture and i can show you because i printed them off and what i did was i printed them that's the actual page and I've put four to a page which has made them small because I wanted them small for something else. Um, and then I've just taken off this little one which is adorable, a little girl flying the butterfly. And I'm just going to um, run that over there like that. And what I did was I wanted to put it over here like that and I'm going to stick that down. So that's what I did there. So just making a little bit of a decoration, nothing too over the top. So I'm going to just put that slightly there because I want to just put in some flowers to go across here. Okay, bearing in mind, I've got my usual Tim Holtz die cuts and I have cut one out in powder blue, like a a tea stain color and this is just from my sage color wallpaper so um, all sorts of this is just standard paper 
the this is slightly thicker paper um and this is just wallpaper so it doesn't matter really people say to me what which paper do you use for your die cuts well anything goes if i like the color of it um i use it those ones just had some little bits in there and i do have a nice little roller but it's behind me so um, I'm not going to get up and get that now. So that's what nails are for. All right, so I just want to arrange this quickly. And yes, it's going to go straight across. And I'm going to show you how we're going to tackle that. Um, so I just want to move that over there, that over there. And we're going to put this one at the bottom. So let's do that really quickly. And I'll speed this up so you can just have a look and see how I'm doing this. All right, so there we have it. That's everything there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of my script washi tape, which I've had for ages, and I'm just going to stick that across the bottom of the stems. And I just like to do that. It gives me false security that everything there is going to stay as it should. All right, now what we want to do is it's the moment of truth. And what you want to do is take your big pair of scissors that have got long blades and you've got your slit here already now it's just a case of following through like that okay um, and now you've got these nice and neat and completely separate but together they they work so nicely together so there's that so that's the front of that and i really like how that's turned out now what we want to do is we want to start decorating up here so i've got two little cards again from that collage sheet um so i said I'd, I'd make sure that you use all the bits from the collage sheet so and it's a beautiful collage sheet so that's going to go in here so we're going to put that one in there and then we're going to take this one and we're going to put it in the bottom tag like that okay now I've backed, printed these on normal paper and backed them onto recycled packaging. So that's what it is if somebody's um, looking to ask me about that. Okay, so we finished with that. There's nothing happening there, although you could put something on there. We've got this beautiful page here and it's just a case of putting in some of the ephemera. So I'm just going to grab it. All right, so we've got these two pieces here, and I just did that because of the colors. So I wanted um, different colors. I've taken that from one of the collage pages, cut it out, put it onto tea stain paper, and um, I'm going to just put that in there like that. And those three are going to go into this pocket like that. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. Then if we turn over to the back over here, um, I just put a little bit of collaging on here. So just want to get um, a few goodies here for you. So we just want to, I've got a scrap of a wallpaper here. So I'm just going to um, tear off. A little piece there we go and then I just wanted another little piece so I've got some more over here so that piece will work well We've got these two and then I'm just taking off a piece uh, a little sentiment um, over here okay, so we've got life is good so that's cool and life is good we've got not much to complain about yeah you agree with that everyone so now all I'm going to do is I think on this side I'm going to just 
start layering uh, these bits together, make a little bit of a collage. Quite a few people have asked me about this glue with a nozzle. Um, and if you were wondering, if you don't know already, which um, most of you do, um, it's art glitter glue and I get it from Amazon or well, I do I'm sure there are many places you can get it um, But I do love this Carol got me into this. Thanks Carol um, And I've never looked back so I do highly recommend it All right, so I'm going to just stick the little sentiment over there like that So we just got a little bit of a collage there um, just to brighten that up a bit and then what I did here was I took the sheet um, printed on vellum and I took my envelope template a or number one I think it's a and I have put that on here and cut out the envelope so on the vellum I've just taken the pencil run it around there cut it out by hand and what I've got here is the envelope shape so like that then I've just folded those bits in like that and now I'm going to just run some glue over this bit here this bit here move that to the side and I'm going to just run that down there the good thing about this glue is it dries clear so it's perfect when you're working with vellum so you haven't got any worries about um, that showing through at all so it works a treat so there we go um, and then oops just a little bit more here as well um, yeah just a little bit more there so that's great and then that just folds down and what a beautiful envelope is that I just love that and then that's going to just slide into this pocket over here Get in. <laughs> right so that's going to go over there it needs to slide in a bit further but there we go so that's perfect for that pocket and then what we have on the back pocket over here is just a little tag that i've made so i've taken a piece of that sage wallpaper I've laid, I've cut out um, one of those illustrations from, it was an Amity Bloom botanical page and I've just cut out the, the little flower of the image there and I've just put on some of my die cuts and a butterfly. Okay, so I made an eyelet and a little bit of sari ribbon and some linen twine. So that's just going to go into that pocket there and I haven't overloaded this because I didn't want to overdo it so all we need to do now is to decorate the little belly band and i just put these two images isn't that the most stunning image absolutely gorgeous um so that one with this beautiful um topography here and i'm going to just slide both of those into our little belly band like that and i just want the little butterfly wings to peek out a little bit so maybe they'll be better peeking out the bottom end. I don't know. But I love the colour. Um, and it works so well with this. So I think that's everything. So let's have a look quickly. And have a look. We've got our little flaps over here with our two tags. Um, like that. And then we've got our little tuck spot with our ephemera there. And then we've got our beautiful envelope, vellum envelope with our bits and bobs there. We've got our lovely tag and our little belly band. And it opens up into a little, well, a Z like that. <laughs> or a Z. How do you say it? All right. So there we have our little project, which I'm loving. And then, of course, here's the one that I made earlier. So... We've got both of those, except I've put them the other way around, but that's fine. There we have it. So I hope you've enjoyed um, creating that with me today. Um, I've, I love this project. It was really fun to do. Um, so I hope you have fun making it too. Um, and just a reminder, if you're wanting these, uh, look in the links um, the, for the links in the description box and you'll find um, Ruby and Pearl's 
stunning kits over there. All right, so if you like a nature or botanical or anything like that, you're going to love these. And look out for um, the project that will be becoming very soon with the finished bits where this is just one of the components in there amongst many others. So have a look out for that project as well. So as always, thank you ever so much for spending time with me today. I hope you do have a go at this. I love to see what you make. So please share it with me. All my contact details are in the description box below. Um, and you guys are amazing. Thank you for your support. And until next time, bye-bye.